Hey everybody, it's me, Sissy, and I'm back today with a Dollar Tree haul. Got a few little goodies in here, but first, before we get started, I want to give a shout out to this lovely company. I, I'm so sorry, I have no idea how to pronounce the name of the company, but um, they sent me some beautiful lashes. They sent me two pair of lashes and two sets of um, press-on nails. Okay, they're not paying for the video. Um, they just gifted these to me to try. So I'm pretty sure that I can put the nails on and give those a try. The lashes, I don't know, but I'm gonna try. And uh, in a, a week or so, I'll give you my review of it and I'll let you know uh, my success or failure. But um, thank you again to this lovely company and these are beautifully packaged I mean that's a really really nice package and they are um, supposed to be reusable I don't know how the nails will be reusable if you glue them on but they do come with little um, adhesive tabs which is what I prefer when I use the um, press on nails but uh, anyway I look forward to trying these out this week and um, letting y'all know what I think but let's get to the Dollar Tree haul so, first thing I got is a couple of the frames. I got the 8x10 and the 11x14. And Dollar Tree is great for frames. You can't beat their price. You just have to be a little careful with them, especially if you're DIYing. Uh, sometimes they are a little fragile and will fall apart. But um, I got these. I'm going to do a DIY, actually, because um, this is nice frame, but it is very generic and very plain. So, I'm going to take the frame. And they have the photo mats too. I'm going to paint them to match the, the large one and the small one. But anyway, I'm going to take the um, glass out and put the mat in. And then I'm going to put this frame in the middle. So that way I'm going to kind of Frankenstein a little more impressive frame. I thought that would be really cool. But anyway, there's a DIY coming up on that. And I'll show you what all I'm making. But I got two of each of those. And... Uh, then I found this really cool metal cone wreath form. Um, I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do with it, but I just couldn't pass it up. So <laughs> y'all be looking. I'm going to do something with this thing, but it's really cool. It's the first time I've ever seen. I wish they had had more, but there was this one lone little um, tree sitting. So I got him, and we'll see what we can do with him. And then I picked up another one of these cute little sequin pillows. I did one for uh, my sister's dog, um, and she wanted one for her other dog, so I'm going to get that. It has the cute sequins on them that change colors. One side's pink, one side's silver. And the silver side you can do, um, if you have a sublimation printer or a sublimation print, you can um, do it on the silver side and it will stick to the sequins because they're basically made of um, polyester. So I'm going to do that up for her. And then I got a replacement for my little Christmas tree that last time I got it, the, the top was broken. So I was very careful with it this time not to break that one. And then I found this cool little tray with candy and snowmen on it. It kind of goes with the colors I'm using for Christmas. So I picked that up and I... This may be a DIY, or I might just use it as a tray. We'll have to wait and see. And I picked up some wrapping paper. Um, uh, Dollar Tree is really on their game with wrapping paper this year. They have a lot of um, uh, Hallmark wrapping paper in there, but this is not Hallmark. This is Voila, and it's the uh, foil, silver foil, so I thought that was really cute. Picked that up. And <laughs> y'all don't think I'm crazy, but this was left over from Halloween or in the toy section. And um, it's a little plastic shield. And I'm going to be doing a DIY with this, hopefully. So y'all stay tuned and see what I'm trying to concoct. And then this is my favorite thing that I have found this year at Dollar Tree. And I can't believe that my, my, doll, my little local Dollar Tree actually got them. It's these big, tall gnomes, and they are just precious. So I picked up two of the gray ones, and they do have them in red also, but these, you can't beat this for a dollar. This was just great. And they got a good weight to them, so they won't topple over. And it's the first time I've seen these in Dollar Tree. These are the flower sack towels, um, lint-free, and they're from the home collection, and they're 30 by 36. That's a great size. And if 
you know, you needed to, you could cut these in half and make napkins out of them. But those are really great. They're 100% cotton. So I picked those up. And I got some of the rose water and honey facial wipes, the Bolero ones. This is the only, one of the few Bolero products that I do like are the facial wipes and the facial mist. All their other stuff has no scent that I can tell every time I get it. So I, I don't think it's just me, but I don't think that they have much of a scent. I was trying to see if this, this may not be the best thing in the world to use on your face, but um, it does say it has floral oil in it. So some, some kind of natural ingredients, but I do like it. It's good at taking off your mascara. So I picked it up. And then I found this cute little house with the light in it. It says, this is my happy place. I thought I would fix that up and put it in my craft room. And salt and pepper shakers. Um, I have mine in little pots and my sister gets <laughs> aggravated because you have to pinch it out or spoon it out. She's like, you know, why can't you just be normal and have a salt and pepper shaker? So I got some for her. And then I picked up the cute little... Uh, trinket box. It's got the bee on it. I think I'm going to embellish it a little bit. Put queen bee or something like that. And um, just kind of personalize it a little bit. That might be a gift for somebody. And no, sister dear, it's not for you. And then I picked up two of these cute little um, metal heart signs. Those are really cute. So hopefully I could do some kind of DIY with those. This one, the string came off, but... So I just picked up two of those. And then I'm to the bottom of the bag, y'all. This was a quick trip. I found this cute little sitting llama to go with my llama collection. It's really cute. And I got some more of the llama ribbon and some cactus ribbon. I don't know how that got in there. I think I bought this. I didn't have my glasses on. But um, it has cactuses on it, and <laughs> if you're blind as me, I thought those were llamas, but I'll put it to good use. And I got some more of the um, Southwestern Llama Ribbon. It has the little pom-poms on it. And then just some assorted pink and blue ribbons. Ah, uh, this is what I thought I had picked up, um, was the Llama Ribbon. So, I got some DIYs coming up using all these ribbons and things coming up very shortly, so y'all stay tuned. Just more ribbon, lots of ribbon. And then um, just some generic tinsel stems. I got these, I'm gonna make some wreaths, so I got those. But Okay, that's my Dollar Tree haul for this week, y'all. So stay tuned, I got some DIYs coming up. Hopefully I'll have a video coming up every other day. Maybe sometimes every day. I'm trying to really get all my stuff done. And if I'm going to be doing it, I might as well be videoing it. So, y'all stay tuned. Remember, if Sissy can do it, you can do it too. So, get out there. Do a little Christmas shopping. Um, be safe. And we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.